Please. Okay, welcome back to another episode of the Day After Podcast. Hi, diddly ho, Survivorinos. Uh, so here we are with All Stars Five. We are at our first All Stars of Series Two. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm excited. It started off crazy, and we've had some interesting winners, um, some very cool contestants this time around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I definitely think this is one of our most stacked All Stars. Uh, we've had yes. a lot of big players and big talent in this one, so I'm excited to see where it goes here. Um, it's also our first All Stars without Catherine Newton. This is the first Catherine Newton this All Stars. It's 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 a little surreal, you know. Um, it, you can't really explain it. It's it's just like, you know, she was kind of like, you know, spoiler alert, when Tony Stark, you know, died in Endgame, you know, we just have to move on without him. Yeah. Even yeah. though she did not have a gracious send off like Tony Stark, but you know what I mean. Yeah, she uh, went down pre-merge um, in the uh, best of the best, uh, yeah. unfortunately. Uh, yeah. But honestly, though, she played way more than I think anyone expected her at this, when she got brought in. <laughs> oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Just a little crush turned mm-hmm. into a big thing, just not yeah. IRL. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I say let's move on now to the people in this All-Stars Um and it looks like we're going to be starting off here with Brian Heideck from our Love versus Load season. This bitch. <laughs> um, I, I, I meant to say it in our uh, draft, but I really consider his performance in our Love versus Load kind of like a coach in token teams. You know, he's kind of got this big group of people. He's kind of at the center of all this but that minority ends up kind of dismembering him his entire thing and then he just kind of like left there just being like oh i don't have numbers anymore (laughs) yeah i totally see that um Mm -hmm. yeah the loved um pulled through in that one but him he's uh he was you know uh, yeah i kind of i agree with that statement very much so he is kind of like coach where he wasn't like super super dominating strategy wise but like you know he was you know yeah. pretty big yeah yeah he was still a focal point of um of the the load tribe i'd say oh yeah oh yeah yeah uh, okay next up is no uh, someone who's no stranger to our brand steel has been on multiple of them has won them before and uh in the first boost season makes it to the end we got francesca hoagie Legit, I thought she was going to be another uh, two-time winner, um, <laughs> unless someone else on this list didn't play so damn well. Um, it, it really, yeah. it really was. She, if she was up against anyone else, I think she she wins that season. Also, also she was the biggest threat in our Brant Steel verse, uh, being you know having such a you know legacy on the uh, on our Brant Steel verse where uh, everyone else. Except, well, except for like a handful. This was their first time playing, first mm-hmm. time ever chosen doing a brand seal. Yeah. And, you know, even though she had that target on her, she still pulled through. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy, actually, uh, how many times she's come into our brand seals and has performed very well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Very much uh, so. Okay, this next person I picked uh, because I think that there's a lot of storylines that are or were great in Fantasy Island, and she was in, in two of them, one of them being with Izuku Midoriya and their on-again, off-again relationship. Oh, yeah. And with the eventual winner, Regina George, as the rival uh, at the early stages of the game. <laughs> yeah, this was... um. Heather was definitely, I mean, obviously uh, she lost that um, battle between Regina, but, you know, pre-merge and, you know, just being able to, like, stand up to Queen Bee uh, was very admirable. And, yes, the on-again, off-again with uh, a very unlikely pair, um, you know, uh, it, it was it was a nice storyline. Um, yeah, she, we'll see... Um, how things play out this time around um yeah 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 two, two of the girls that i picked on my tribe i picked with the 
so almost the real, real reason is that they had an early rivalry with the eventual winner of their season. Um, yeah. And they played very good up to that point. Uh, one of them even almost actually winning, but some shenanigans happened that stopped it. Uh, <laughs> so so I, 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 I do like to respect, you know, when I see good gameplay, even if they go out a little earlier than what you would like. Yeah, of course. And I think Heather, she has a good shot this time around. Um, I don't know. It's hard saying that. It's a very, very stacked season. Like, it's going to be devastating seeing any of them go. There's a lot of great players. Like, it, I, I can't even really imagine who I would be like, yeah, I'm okay with them going. Like, there's very few. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I yeah. agree. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, we've kind of already talked about him a little bit, uh, but we got Izuku Midoriya, uh, the other half of the Heather and Midoriya combo. Yeah. Um, makes it a little further into the game. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I love My Hero, it's happening right now. It's oh, one yeah. of my favorite modern animes of all time. Ditto, ditto. Yeah. Um, excited to see... Um... Yeah, I'm excited to see how he plays this time around. Uh, David versus Goliath, also a very, very fitting season for him. Exactly. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, it's going to be interesting because there is a lot of um, different challenges and things, and seeing how um, Izuku might navigate that shall be interesting to watch. Yeah, it's really fun imagining these animated characters now <laughs> on uh, playing with real Survivor players. <laughs> yeah, um, and they just stay two-dimensional. It's not like some uh, thing where it's like, oh, yeah, they just become live action and real human beings. They're legit still cartoons. Yep. I, I don't understand the logic behind it either, but... You know, someone would fun. be able that, to explain it, but that's not us. <laughs> that's the fun of imagination. Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, Zuku is uh, back again. Uh, excited to see uh, how far he makes it. Um, next up, we got one of my favorite players. Uh, someone uh, from our old school versus middle school versus new school season. Uh, we got Karishma Patel, um, who surprisingly hasn't really shown up too much in our brand steals. No. Nah. Um, I mean, she does every now and then, um, yeah. but, you know, um, she is someone where, um, it, uh, but she usually does decent in, um, our brand steals. Um, what did she place in, um, the Battle of the Schools? I don't think she was in that one. Or, oh, oh, oh I mean, uh, sorry, I was thinking of uh, the, the, the original one. Uh, oh, let's go, yeah, yeah, so that one, she got, like, seventh or eighth. That's not too bad. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Sorry if I'm having a tough time remembering what she did in that. Yeah, uh, I I believe there was an idol play that she did. Okay, gotcha. I'm pretty sure she has an idol play like right before she gets eliminated. Like. <laughs> it's um. Yeah, she's um. She's good TV. It's interesting. Uh, she's with um. Izuku, who, you know, sometimes has low self-esteem issues, and so, like... Yeah, they can you know, bond they over that. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, um, that's good. Um, sure. so yeah, Karishma Patel uh, making her All-Star debut. Hasn't been on an All-Stars before, I believe. No, um, no. Well, yeah. welcome, Karishma. Yeah. Uh, and, okay, so now we got, uh, from our first boot season, Marissa Callahan. Yep. She, um, the famous first victim of Russell Hans. Uh, she came back, um, in the Samoa simulator and, you know, she did well. Um, kind of like what you were saying earlier, the whole, uh, definitely a big, uh, pre-merge presence. And then, you know, just with, um, everything that was going on in first boot, uh, yeah. at the merge, just yeah. felt mercy to, uh, idled. Yeah, yeah, because uh, her side wins the merge rock draw. Like, yeah. if you look at it like that, uh, and she was in control of that group. Like, if Johnny Fairplay doesn't have an idol ready for the next rounds, Johnny Fairplay could go home there, 
and then he he wins no immunity challenge because he loses the first two immunities. <laughs> yeah. Um. And the, yeah, we get robbed of that, and then Marissa probably goes on to make it at least to like final four. <laughs> it's a big possibility here. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I mean, she still has to deal with Johnny on the opposite team, but uh, this time around, you know, other than for, first boot, things shift around. Um. This is a lot of new territory for her. Um, so, yeah. Exactly. Um, so, rooting for her, always like to see uh, people getting out a little early, getting a chance to play more. Um, yeah. Now, next up, we have probably the highlights of old school versus middle school uh, versus new school. We got Ray Judkins. I agree. Um, him and his idols, you know, from the very beginning, um doing a very very good job throughout um yeah. you know i i mean i was kind of like low-key on your team like rooting for him and stuff mm -hmm. um and he made it far he made it far but alas just kind of weave it short yeah if he could have just found that last idol that last for for the final five uh, yeah, and pulled a Ben Drebrig in. Uh, <laughs> you know, who knows? He could have won fire then at Final Four and made his Final Three, and he probably would have been a lock to win. Potentially, potentially. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, here's his uh, here's his next shot. I'm sure it, it won't be the last time we see uh, good old Rafe on here, but uh, yeah. you know, it, the earlier you can get a win, the better. You know. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. I, I, I'm imagining him being a, a staple of our Series 2. I can see him kind of being that all-star season of Series 2 guy. I totally see that. Totally. totally. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, okay, next up, uh, I uh, said this at the uh, draft, uh, but this is the swan song for me, at least, uh, for Rob Sesternino on our brand steals. Um, he got his win. Uh, and now he is kind of doing a victory lap, uh, being like, hey, I won. Look at me. I'm here again uh, because I have to because I won. Uh, but really, it's it's all about him just uh, telling you the entire world that he has finally done it. He is yeah. no longer the smartest person to never win. It's um, He's the um, only winner on your team besides Francesca, but if we're talking about uh, Series 2 wins, mm -hmm. he's the only one so far yeah, on your he's team. The, yeah, he's the only one this uh, season that I've I won. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, that might actually, this whole victory lap thing might put a huge target on his back earlier on. I mean, I to be honest, I could really see him just taking this as a vacation. You know, if he goes out early, he's going to drink some pina coladas. You know, he's going to kind of just relax. Ring. Yeah, this, is, this isn't this is about winning to him. I think this is all about, you know, look at look at this. I get I, some extra screen time. Yeah, exactly. That That's all. That That's what his march is about this time. Exactly. Well, nice. you know, um. Hopefully, um, before he goes, he makes a nice play or two. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see some of his class. I mean, to be honest, though, he's really just kind of been a social player in our yeah. brand steals. He's never really been that strategic mastermind. He's just, I'm going to make friends with a lot of people, and they're going to help me get to the end. All right, well, let's see if uh, it's strong enough this time around. Yeah. Uh, next up from our Love versus Loathe uh, season as well, another person from the Loathe tribe, we got Twyla Tanner, uh, who won three individual immunities back to back to back, I believe. Um, very, very strong challenge performance there. Oh, yeah. She, um, yeah, I think she's a very good um, person to bring for this. Um, did pretty well in Love versus Loathe. Um, yeah, I think, um, Twyla is a good represent say, yeah, representation from that season um, for what it stands for, and she performed well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's going to be interesting this time around how uh, she interacts. Um, she's working with Brian again. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that kind of – it sucks because at Final Six – Twyla, Brian, and Phelps should have stuck together. Winter rocks against the loved, but Brian and Phelps turned on Twyla. 
<laughs> and ultimately yeah. gave up their chances of winning. <laughs> you know, maybe she'll learn from her lesson. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, Twyla. And to round out my team, we got uh, someone who almost won Fantasy Island, one vote away from winning. Yeah. Uh, that is Walter White, a.k.a. Heisenberg. Uh, uh, some would say he rode Regina's coattails. I would disagree. I, think... I would say she was trying to do an, um, he was trying to do a Natalie White kind of thing. Yeah. But, you know, it, it, I was, think... it, was, a, it was a season full of game players. Like, yeah. they, they respected the game more than the social. And it was close, though. It was really, really close. Um, it, it was. One too... person switched over to him. <laughs> a little too close for comfort. But, you know, he's yeah. a smart player. He knows how to navigate the game. Um, he can be a big sleeper um, this time around. Yeah. Yeah. You got to imagine uh, he needs to get that money so he can uh, uh, help with his cancer, uh, get some money for his family, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And also, you know, some money where he can make some math. He loves yes. it. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so that does it for my try. Let's move on to Ryan's try. All righty. So first up, we got from Survivor, Old School, Middle, and New School, um, we got Brenda, who did a pretty decent job. Um, she just got, you know, uh, she got a little unlucky near the middle of uh, the merge, but, you know, she had a decent social game, uh, and she made some solid moves, um, all things considered, and was part of one of the best pre-merge tribes um probably in our brand steel history you know middle school was just like winning all the time before they broke up yeah um, yeah it was kind of crazy actually how they just never, it seemed like they they never had to go and it, it also seemed like they were all going to go coming in first like mm -hmm. not even seconds out of when when there was three tribes so uh yeah definitely a very strong tribe uh goes out as uh, Rafe's first merge victim uh, with yeah. his little idol once there uh, at final seven and six. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think she, he targeted her for a reason. Uh, I think she had that good social game, and she makes it to the end. Who knows? Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a that's what that was one of the tough things about that season was uh, Rafe, and you know, Rafe is back. She knows to be wary of uh, that idol finder. Yeah, um, I, I think I think she'll do decently well this time around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think old school versus middle school versus new school was the hardest season to navigate because more than half of the people got idled out or rocked out or something. The whole <laughs> Ron elimination that that still hurts me today. Yeah. Like, geez, he had, he had an um, idol. <laughs> I mean, this is, I mean, David versus Goliath, too. This is a this is another tough season. Um, because of all the twists and turns. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so we'll see how Brenda works with that. Yeah. All right. Speaking of David versus Goliath, we have uh, this is his home season. We have Davey Rickenbacker and uh, yeah, I love Davey. He's uh, one of my favorite uh, one-time players. Um, and, you know, he – I wouldn't say he's in my – I would have to assess my top ten list for new school. But, you know, he might, need, he might you know, earn his way in ten or nine um, on that list. But, you know, he's a likable guy. Uh, he's a lot of fun, and he plays well. He was on Love versus Love, and uh, he did all right. He was just one of those uh, – merge boots um yeah it, it, what's really sad about his story is uh he, he went into the merge with three loved and uh against a bunch of loads and he goes home seconds in the merge and then the three love people that were with him go on to be the final three <laughs> i know <laughs> which which is you know it's sad i mean it's good for the loved because we wanted love to come through but after all you know, <laughs> exactly um so hopefully um he doesn't have that curse this time around um mm -hmm. i mean he has the 
I don't know whether it is good or bad luck to be on the season you're, you know, on for a brand steal. Um, it fares out sometimes, uh, but we'll see. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have Elsa, Fantasy Island. Um, Heather was a big uh, rival for Regina, but Elsa was there from the start. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, always um, targeting Regina, but Regina, for whatever reason, maybe Elsa had a little bit of plot armor or Regina understood that Elsa was a goddess. Um, mm -hmm. Not to mess with her up until the finale, but yeah, mm -hmm. Elsa does a pretty good job, has a decent social game. Yeah. And yeah, I feel like kind of the same reason why uh, you brought Heather back is another great reason for you to bring back Elsa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Elsa. I, I think uh, because there was that big rivalry with Regina, I think Regina figured, hey, I can bring her along. Maybe it's an easy vote down the line uh, that uh, can still look like a pretty big move. Like, oh, I, I still got the, the final say at you. Um, uh, but And also, you know, maybe don't put her on the jury too early because then maybe she starts telling everyone that Regina is terrible and you know what happens with the first few people in the jury uh can shape the entire jury because now they're all just wanting to talk bad about a certain person <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah um i don't know i feel like regina I, we'll talk about regina later but yeah. um i definitely think we'll see a lot of that early on um mm -hmm. between the two because that is a huge rivalry yeah. um just off the bat all right, next up, we got the Forky, who's actually a spork. But all that aside, um, <laughs> he was kind of the wild card wacky pick that I chose because um, my roommate's uh, Forky thing fell on the ground. And I was like, you know what? I I'm going to include Forky. Uh, had a fun time with Guy. Um, in Fantasy Island, then Guy was eliminated. But Forky's social game and physical game was on point. Strategy, not so much, but it, 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 it I is. I think he was just likable. I think I think everyone exactly. out there liked him. <laughs> exactly. It, it, it would have been a very interesting story if uh, Forky made it to the finale and see how all that would have panned out. Maybe he might even beat Regina. Um, yeah, it's very possible because Walter White uh, becomes the the uh, uh, kind of social player, but I think Forky was even better than Walter White at that. Forky won, I oh, believe, yeah. what four individual immunities that season. Or like he was on that. fire. Yeah, so uh, Forky is a huge threat going in. You yeah. know, he's just simple fork. Um, don't underestimate him. Mm -hmm. All right, next up, we got another regular. Also, <laughs> it's funny, they're even in the same, like, spot from season 39. Um, you have Karishma. I have Janet Carbon. Uh, mm -hmm. yep. One of my favorite contestants. <laughs> um, and I was happy. She does pretty well most of the time. Um, and uh, it would have been awesome to see her win Love versus Love. But, you know, it... It, 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 it's, it was hard for those three, to be honest, to differentiate yeah. each other because they, they played together. Like, exactly. they, they always voted together at the merge. Um, there yeah. was never a vote where they didn't. Um, yeah. So it's definitely, it is hard, to, you know, to be like, hey, that's my move compared to these two. Exactly. But, you know, I feel, uh, I would like to see her make it far when... On this season, it depends on how she would win, if she would win. But, you know, Janet is one of the people who's been on our – she's been kind of like a regular since uh, our season three and series one, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I'd be curious to see um, – uh, I, I it, it would be uh, – I'd say out of my team, she is probably in the top half of people I want to win but I'm not sure if this is the right season for it but I will hope she yeah. does well yeah it's hard um I'm still waiting to talk about the next two because those are the those are on your teams the big ones oh yeah there is an argument to be made 
who has played the best game ever in our branch deal? I, st- we'll I, st- get- I, I know which one I'm going to say, but I, uh, go, go ahead. First up, we have Johnny Fairplay, who won two-thirds of the immunity challenges. Six of those challenges um, did incredible. Granted, there could be a little asterisk. Yeah, but it was like a first food season. However, mm-hmm. how he works it out and how, you know, he saved his ass with the idol. He played a very remarkable game. One where, you know... It's hard to duplicate. Exactly, exactly. Um, yeah. There, there were two tribals in the entire merge where Johnny Player Play could have gone home. And nope, he didn't. Yeah. Didn't. Yeah. Um, one, one of them, uh, you know, he gets actually tied votes, but then they end up having to go to rocks. So it's like, yeah. even then. <laughs> He's a sly dog. Um, <laughs> and yeah, he just, I'm, I'm interested to see how he does now that, you know, he has the winner, he has the winner title underneath his belt. Um, yeah. Yeah. Big, big right. player, excited to see him come back. I wonder if he'll actually go to win challenges, though, now that, because uh, we have a lot of challenge beasts on the season, yes. like a lot, so. Yes, we do. <laughs> um, now, we have the exact opposite of Johnny Fairplay, except maybe, you know, the whole blonde thing, but we have Regina George, who plays probably the best game of Survivor in our brand steel verse and possibly even yeah. in the actual show. It was crazy. You know. Like I, yeah, she she was so good. It was crazy. Like every move that she did almost seemed like it was revolutionary, like being a revolutionary move. Like it was crazy. She was changing <laughs> how the game should be played. <laughs> it was so good. She was our Russell Hans, except she actually won. Yeah, um, yeah she's just the gameplay was just so magnificent. It was like if Mozart made a theme for Survivor, if that makes sense. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, the, I think we're both though a little scared for her coming back because yeah. she played such Huge a target. great she played such a great game. It's like, how do you top that? How yeah. do you top that? Yeah. And it's like, we're, like we're gonna be disappointed even if she makes it to the end again. If she if she seems invisible, like we're gonna be disappointed. <laughs> I'd say the only way, only thing that could top that is if she just straight up just is never immune, or she never goes to tribal council and gets immunity up to a certain point where she's just untouchable. Yeah, like, she's going to also have to, you know, have alliance, be able to make alliances turn on each other and suddenly, because that was what made her really interesting was she changed alliance structures. Like, she literally would be like, no, let's let's change the game every vote. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, definitely um, use the voting blocks uh, style and... You know, that's just Regina's thing. Like, you know, yeah, she can, she has like her crew and stuff, but if you cross her, you feel the queen bee's uh, sting. Exactly, exactly. All right. Next up, we got Ryan Aiken uh, from our first boot season. And Johnny Fairplay, you know, he gets a lot of love for winning almost everything, but the person that comes in second place for winning almost everything, well, not almost anything, two out of the three available spots was Ryan. Um, And there's something to be said about that, Um, you know. Yeah, I'd say Johnny Verbley's only real challenge in immunities was Ryan. Um. Yeah. (laughs) So um, that's that's the reason I chose him also. It's like, all right, uh, this Ryan's doing good. Let's bring him back. Yeah, it's about time. Uh, besides, it's, when you won the best of the best, the Ryan's haven't done too good. <laughs> after I ash catchumed it. Yep. All right. <laughs> Next up, we have also from our first food scene um, season, Sonia, who plays a low key game, makes mm-hmm. it pretty far, and yeah, um, the first ever person to be voted out of Survivor did very well in the representation of that, and. 
you know, also looking at my um, team, we, I mean, other than Janet, you, you know, I kind of wanted to keep, you know, a range of like youth mm -hmm. or youth and old people. And like, you know, she's kind of there to kind of balance that a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, uh, she, the two makes it pretty far. Uh, another good social player. Excited to see uh, uh, Sonia come back. I always love it when a Borneo representative can do well in one of her brand steals. Yeah, I mean, she also did pretty decently in our um, Hunger Games one. Yeah. Even though that's a not that doesn't always transition well. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. But yeah. All right, next up, we got Ty Trang um, from our old school versus middle school versus new school. And Ty does a pretty decent job, makes it super, super far. Um, yeah, um, plays a lot similarly to how he did, you know, an actual survivor. And, you know, it still surprised me we didn't use him in series one. So, like, I feel Ty, kind of like how you have Wraith, I feel Ty is going to be, you know, probably another like series two kind of like staple well i mean it depends on how he does on this one but i yeah. i totally see him. I, I i can see him even going pre-merge we bring him back at some point because he's just one of the he's honestly one of the players you can put him in a lot of different seasons and it's oh, going to yeah. make sense to have him there um very applicable yeah so i i definitely see him coming back a lot um yeah uh if it like in that season there was Rafe as the big front runner, and then there was him. Like we want, like those are the two big ones that were like, "Come on, let's have one of them win." Um, yeah. Rafe goes, and then we're like, "Okay, come on, Ty, let's have you win." And then he goes, and it's like, "God darn!" It's like there's no one left. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, all respect to Kathy, but mm -hmm. at the same time, it our two big, our two big boys went, and yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little... And I like, yeah, I, I, James also played a pretty big game. Like, he even played Iowa's correctly and stuff and was trying to get in your face, but like, he ends up losing there, even though he makes it to the end. So it's, 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 yeah. And, and then Hayden also just racking up a bunch of votes. Like, that, it seemed like the other two had very good cases as well. And then yeah. Kathy kind of, kind of gets a purple edit. It's like, she's kind of, she's just been all of a sudden there. And you're like, oh, hey, Kathy. Yeah. 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 All right. So yeah. that is everyone. Yeah. Uh, who are you rooting for on the tribes? All right. On my tribe, it's hard to say. Uh, I want to root for Regina, just not necessarily to win, but at least do good. Mm -hmm. I just want her to at least make it not necessarily past the merge, but past 10. If she yeah. can make it like nine and above, I'll be satisfied. Uh, if we're looking, you know, I, I would like to see, because we have some good runner-ups here. We have some things. I'd say it's the three people I would like to see do the best would probably be Regina, Davey, and Ty. And mm -hmm. Janet is like a really close fourth because mm -hmm. I kind of want, you know, I just don't think this is her season. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I really want to see Regina make it to the finale. I think I think because of how well she played last time, anything less than the finale to me will seem like we got shafted. <laughs> it, it, it's very very tricky. Like yeah, it, it, like she has more pressure on her. I think than Poverty Shallow did every time after her win. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I'm probably rooting, honestly, for your two winners. I, I, I really want to see them make it far again. Um, yeah. Um, on your side, you know, definitely Rafe. Um, I, I would say, hands down, I would like Rafe from your tribe to win if anyone from your tribe wins. Mm -hmm. Um and, you know, I do hope that uh, Heather and Izuku do well. Um, and Rob has a nice little final outing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably rooting for the most for Wraith and Walter White. And I want to see Marissa and Heather uh, at least make it a couple rounds past the merge. <laughs> we'll see. 
it's yeah. we'll see we all know that our hearts our hearts are going to be broken at least uh a few times during uh the beginning of this mm-hmm. exactly exactly so are you ready to get into it let's do this thing okay uh, so we have the opening uh, twist. Uh, Heisenberg and Heather are going to compete for my tribe. All right. As Ty and Elsa compete for your tribe. Okay. And your tribe wins. Hey, they nice. Get pre-cut lumber and additional supplies. Nice. Okay. Uh, looks like I have no alliances going on at my tribe. Nope. And no alliances going on at your tribe. Regina being quiet. That's interesting. Oh, interesting. Uh, oh, oh and my tribe wins immunity. Oh, no. I didn't bring my... <laughs> First <laughs> time yeah, you said you were going to and you, did, you didn't. Well, I just got off of work, like, literally <laughs> six minutes. Like, I basically did my setup as soon as I got here. Uh, You're all and- good, man. <laughs> Maybe in a little bit. Anywho. Uh, All right. Heisenberg has a major meltdown. He's worried for Regina. And Rafe and Rob have a small fight. Huh. I guess because, you know, Rob is just like, yeah, this is my, uh, this is, I already won. I, I never get a fight with people out here. I always have to make friends. Like, I want to do the opposite of what I usually do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shake it up a little. And our first alliance forms between Francesca and Heather. Okay. Okay. Smart move on Heather's part. Yeah, getting getting herself a duo. Yeah. Um, oh, and my Johnny God. and Regina bond they strongly. They know they are the biggest threats, so oh, they have man. to. Uh, and we got an alliance here between Regina, Sonia, and Ty. All right. And an alliance between Davey, Johnny, uh, Ryan, and Ty. All right, so we have at least six people in this kind of like. Yeah, you got to imagine that they're going to kind of work together, right? Yeah, yeah. They got they, they have a bond, and Ty is in both of these alliances. Ty with his social game. Uh, that leaves out Forky, Elsa. We're also and missing J- Janet, Brenda, and Janet. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, uh, so I mean, this I think this could be the the the, the majority six. I see it. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now, who in that uh, not majority is going home? <laughs> Out of the four that we have, honestly, I hate to do it, but I have to throw Brenda under the bus. You think Brenda? I don't want to see? I don't want to see Forky or Elsa or Janet go. I, I like yeah, Brenda. I guess, I guess I guess if those are the four options, yeah, I guess I'd say Brenda out of those four. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's time to vote. No one stands. First vote goes to Janice. Second vote goes to Regina. All right. Third vote goes to Janice. <sighs> Four votes. Or fifth vote go yeah, fourth vote goes to Janet. Fifth vote goes to Janet. Sixth vote goes to Janet. <laughs> Seventh vote goes to Regina. I don't think yeah. Yeah, Janet's going home. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, now <laughs> whoever voted oh. with Janet, I think's going home next because they voted against Regina. You don't do yeah. that. You if you go for Regina, you gotta get shot. Was it Elsa? It was no, Brenda. It was Brenda. Yeah. Uh, Dang. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Janet being a surprise. Uh, what, what we we thought of Island of Iowa was of her being a first boots. She has now become a first boots here on All Stars Five. Oh man. No. <laughs> Uh, I think it was like a, how Loki was killed off in Infinity War. It's like, we're serious now, <laughs> even though he's getting his own series. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> uh, okay, everything seems the same over here. That alliance is doing pretty good. Sorry. Um, 
And my tribe wins immunity again. Fuck! They win a fishing kiss. Well, no. <laughs> so Brenda's probably going home. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, I'll Twyla find the hidden immunity idol. Okay, nice. Twyla. Good for Twyla. Very good. Uh, for Francesca and Rafe have a small fight. Rafe is picking fights with peeps. Yeah, he is. Uh, like coming in like I don't know maybe she he has some like star power like he's thinking like oh I did so good this before everyone should be like sucking up to me because I played such a great game probably I mean it's it's too early to start drama yeah uh, while Heather is impressing the rest of the team by not starting drama and Francesca leaves the alliance with Heather <laughs> I guess Francesca does not like showboating and yeah. then you know it was like <laughs> you know what no yeah, and now Rafe and Twyla create an alliance. <laughs> he smell he smells the idol on her. Yeah, like, he knows he can make fights now. He knows what the idol is. Exactly. Um, Brenda finds the hidden <laughs> immunity idol. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Any one could be going home. Oh no. I'm just hearing the fan going around in my room and I'm like, it's like this Saving Private Ryan scene where, you know, I'm hearing a whistle <laughs> and I'm like a little shell shocked. Uh, but hey, this might be good. Brenda's starting a fight with Sonia. That could be a diversion. Could be a diversion. She could really throw her vote on anyone. Um, I'm nervous. No. I, so. Regina leaves the alliance of Sonia and Ty. What the fuck is going on? And she creates an alliance with Elsa. Okay. <laughs> the frenemy alliance. I'm, I'm curious to see what Regina is planning. Like, I know she definitely has something planned. She's could it be a right. Sonia flip? Or, like, flipping on Sonia? Yeah. I can see that, but it's too hard to say. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, actually. Like, it, seemed, think... pr it seemed pretty cut and dry that they were going to vote Brenda if she was going to play her idol or not. I mean, she either goes home or she's the sold vote. But now... Yeah. <laughs> we'll just have to see. This is... um, I don't want it to be Virginia, so I'm just going to say Sonia. I'm... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to say, uh, it's gonna, I think Brenda's not gonna play her idol. I think this is all a big diversion to make her think that she doesn't have to play her idol. It's possible, but I'm not, I don't know. Yeah. So Brenda has the We're idol. No one stands. She does not play her idol. Is she in with Regina? First vote goes to Ryan. Second vote goes to Regina. Third vote goes to Elsa. The... Fourth vote goes to Ryan. Fifth okay. vote goes to Ryan. Sixth vote goes to Elsa. Seventh vote goes to Regina. Eighth vote goes to Elsa. We're tied 3-3-2 three, three, with one vote left. Let it be Ryan, let it be Ryan, let it be Ryan. He's Ryan. <laughs> okay. I can rest. Uh, at least he's not the first boots. <laughs> no, just second. Uh, okay, let's see who who did all this. Uh, so Brenda voted for Ryan. Uh, Davey voted for Elsa. Elsa voted for Ryan. Forky voted for Ryan. Johnny voted for Elsa. Regina voted for Ryan, so this is still Regina's uh, plan here. Ryan voted for Elsa, mm -hmm. Sonia voted for Regina, and Ty voted for Regina. All right, um, so it could have been a thing of split votes, trying to shake things up. Um, yeah. Though, yeah, I imagine that they were they thought an idol might have came into play there, so they were trying to make sure, you know. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, this is... Um, 
Not looking good for your tribe so far. No, that is that is an accurate statement. <laughs> um, okay, so everything seems the same over here. Miranda has the idol. And everything seems the same over here. Yeah. Come on, let my team win one. My oh. tribe wins immediately. <laughs> Okay, this is not, this isn't funny anymore. How is it that, like, all O-Stars, you just get, like, picked on? <laughs> I guess, because oh, it's me. It's me. Uh, uh, they, they also win pillow blankets and chairs. Uh, okay, uh, so Chris and Twyla find something in common. And a new alliance forms on my tribe. Like well, six why? There's no <laughs> point. Why align when you never go to tribal? <laughs> well, you got to make sure. You never know. Jeez Louise. Yeah. So Brian, Francesca, Marissa, Rave, Rob, and Walter White have created an alliance. All right. So Karishma, Twyler out of the loop. Uh, yeah. who, else? Uh, who else? Uh, uh, no. uh, Heather. Heather and uh, Midoriya. Midoriya. All right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so there's that. Davey is impressing the rest of the team. All right, Davey. He's impressing the team twice as much as normal. That's the impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brenda and Regina have a small fight. <laughs> Regina, no. Uh... And Ty leaves the alliance with Sonia, so that alliance is gone. Yeah, it's it, it could be Sonia. Um, I don't know. It didn't say that the fight had a lasting impact, though. Yeah, yeah, uh, but it's so scary because Brenda has an idol here. Yes, very much so. Yeah, uh, I'm. I, I'm going to say Sonia though. I think I think you know uh, some people have left her alliance. We're already down to eight. You know, there's probably some people who are going to be like, "Hey, you know, I don't trust her anymore. Let's let's yeah. get her out." I feel Sonia. She's like she's like the she's like the one person left where I'm okay with they go before yeah. the merge. We kind yeah. of went through. A, well, I mean. I didn't want Janet to go. Yeah. But now that's Sonia, all right, it's your move. It's your time. Please. Yeah. Um, the question is, is Brenda going to play her idol? She does not. No idol play here. First vote goes to Elsa. Second vote goes to Brenda. Third vote goes to Elsa. No, don't. Fourth vote goes to Brenda. Fifth vote goes to Elsa. Sixth vote goes to Elsa. Elsa is voted out in a six to two vote. Damn. Just pain. Damn. Just pain. Ah, uh, who voted with her? Uh, Regina. I guess they did have an alliance, so she didn't want to flip on her. Yeah. But, I mean, it's before the merge, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, that's, like, one of the first times Regina's ever not been on the right side of the votes. Oh, that's, that's not good. Yeah. Um, also, I think we got to stop this so I can go do my phone call. My All right. Call. Best of luck. I'll, I'll be sure to... Okay, uh, we're back from a little break. Uh, had to go uh, make I, a call. I got my uh, stuffies now. Um, you know, lamenting that the fact that I, you know, can never have a nice, simple off stars. There's all no. It's just devastation. It, it is. It is kind of crazy that <laughs> it's been you for the first three boots. And then after we film this intoxication. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I win or not, but like still, it's a lot. It's a yeah. lot. 
It's a lot, but hey, I think your tribe is going to turn it around. See, it's got Regina and Johnny Fairplay. How could they? How could they lose anymore? I don't know. They're cursed on my team. <laughs> yeah, I, I should have drafted them just so they didn't have to be on your team. Boy, I know, but. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, let's let's continue. Uh, so Twyla has the idol. Um, Twyla and Wraith have the lives, and then there's the big uh, six-person alliance here. That doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, Wraith is doing pretty good. He got himself on both of those alliances. Yeah. Brenda has the idol here. And this the only alliance on your tribe is Davey, Johnny, and Ty. Some nice gents. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank God. Your tribe wins immunity. Look at that. We need right. to take a break so you don't lose. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. Okay, that's cool. good. Okay. Um, so Twilight's got the idol. Marissa and Heisenberg have a minor disagreement. Uh oh. Is that and me? Heisenberg leaves the majority alliance. What does this mean? And a new alliance formed between Heather, Izuku Midoriya, and Twyla Tanner. So Twyla is third wheeling with Heather. Be united and it feels so good. <laughs> uh, great. That's, that's great. Their relationship can rekindle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know what Heisenberg leaving. I mean, it's leaving out of a five-person alliance. I mean, leaving yeah, it, it as was a, a six-person alliance. Now this is a five-person. So it splits. But Rafe has a thing with Twyla. So I don't know. Rafe could flip. Yeah, because this isn't a huge like. No one's really loyal here. Like this yeah. is like they 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 know that they should stick together, but as um. As people have quoted in Survivor, you don't know where alliances truly lie until after Tribal Council. Exactly. So who knows what could happen here. Uh, Davey and Forky bond strongly. Aw, uh, that's cute. <laughs> that's adorable. Um, and Davey and Johnny have a small fight. I'm guessing Johnny is like, dude, he's a fucking fork. And he's like, he's more than a fork. <laughs> he's our team. He is the heart of our team. Uh, I can also see Johnny being upset at Davey because he double impressed uh, in a previous episode for his tribe. Fair. So, uh, you know, he doesn't like the limelight being stolen like that. Fair enough. Fair enough. It has um, a lasting impact. Oh, no. Johnny oh, Fairplay no. leaves the alliance of Davey and Ty. <laughs> Shucks. Wow. Well, at least they don't have to go to tribal council. <laughs> That's true. Uh, no, someone on my tribe is going home, though. Uh, it's tough to say, because we got some, like, yeah, we had Walter leaving, things like that. It's just, mm -hmm. where are the numbers lying right now? So it could be anyone. Yeah, I don't want it to be either Heather or uh, Midoriya, because they just... Got back together. All right. Yeah. I think Twyla, since she has an idol, she has some leeway. I think Rafe is going to be okay. Heather Midoriya. Walter White is a possibility. Uh, I don't know. It could be it could be Rob. I'm going to yeah. say Rob. Yeah, Rob. I could see that. Now the question is, Twyla going to play her idol? She does not. All right. First vote goes to Rob. Second vote goes to Twyla. Third vote goes to Deku. Fourth vote goes to Rob. Fifth vote goes to Twyla. Sixth vote goes to Twyla. Seventh vote goes to Twyla. Eighth vote goes to Rob. Two votes left. Ninth vote goes to Rob. One right. vote left. Rob or Twyla. Watch it just be randomly another Deku. And they're like, oh, we got a three votes. Oh, Rob Sesternino goes out well, where he went out in All Stars in The Real Survivor. Yeah. Well, I mean, good on, good on Twyla for not playing her idol. Um, good move. Yeah, so, so 
Brian. So, so Heisenberg was the one person out. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess because there was just no lines to be drawn. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Left, so, yeah. Um, Heather, right. Deku, Krishma, Rafe, and Twyla. Uh, All right. That seems like a good little voting block. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I dig it. Yeah. Um, I think there's... Uh, uh, so yeah, I mean, there goes Rob Cetronio's swan song. He just wanted to get to Ponderosa so he can enjoy the buffets. I mean, he's going to be on that cruise for a while because... Yeah, he gets know. to go on a vacation. I know. know. That'd be nice. He's, he's already won. He doesn't have anything to, to prove. Um, exactly. Okay, oh. so now Johnny Fairplay is going to be exiled, so he cannot go home this episode. All right. Does he find the advantage, though? He finds the idol nullifier. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's, um, it's going to be interesting how he uses it, um, because he's smart enough to use it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, and, you know, it means that he doesn't, he can't go home in episode five, so he's a little closer to, uh, making it to the merge. Yeah, yeah. Um, All right. Okay, so the Buku tribe has Brenda Lowe, Forky, Francesca, Rafe, and Ty. Interesting. Yeah, so you've got the advantage on this. Uh, yeah. Suck for Francesca and Rafe. All right. Uh, but I can see also Rafe going in with Ty. Like they have that uh, old school versus middle school versus new school alliance. Or not, not an alliance, but yeah, bonds. Um, okay. okay, the Jabeni tribe is Davy, Heather, Izuku, <laughs> Karishma, and Twyla. That's totally bad for Davy. <laughs> like um, the worst draw he could have had because Heather, Midoriya, and Twyla are in an alliance together. <laughs> and Karishma were, was in the voting block. So, you know, it, it, it could be a safe bet that, you know, Heather. Midoriya and Twyla will make it to the merge, depending on, like, you know, how many travels they lose, obviously. Yeah, but exactly. They, they have some fodder before then. Yeah, yeah. You gotta imagine it's Davey, then Karishma. So there's, there's like, a two-vote gap. And, and then I guess Johnny could come back if they lose next, and then they just take out Johnny. Fair enough, yeah. They have fodder for days. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty strong for them. Um, and then over in the Tiva tribe, we got Brian Heideck, Marissa Callahan, Regina George, Sonia Christopher, and Walter White. All right. I can see Walter flipping because, you know, Brian and Marissa, they were in that alliance. Now he left and, you know, reunite with Regina and uh, Sonia, you know, was part of that voting block. So it, it could look really good um, for Regina. And they're on a new tribe with the possibility of finding an idol. And that's a one in five shot in finding it. So. Exactly. So, so there's a lot of uh, things that happen here. Uh, also, uh, out of these 15, 10 people are going to be safe from this. Or I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's 10 people. So, because only five people go to tribal. So, yeah, uh, there's a lot. I mean, like, if you go to tribal, you know, there's nowhere to hide. But at the same time, you know, you got if multiple you, chances to stay in it. <laughs> you have a two and three shot of winning immunity, which is exactly. a very ideal situation. Exactly. Um, yeah. So let's uh, let's get into this. Uh, so on this tribe, uh, pretty much not much alliances. We got Francesca and Rafe. They are together. Um, but your tribe doesn't really have any ties. Really. Any ties. Um, well, then we do have a tie. Yeah. <laughs> I point to it like you guys can see my finger pointing to the tie. <laughs> it's just, again, it's just uh, in black and white. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And then uh, Heather, Midoriya, and Twyla are stick and strong. They're, they're together. And Idol is hidden, but no one finds it yet. So Brian and Marissa there so yeah let's uh see who wins immunity jabeni right. tribe wins immunity davy will not go home yay and they win coffee <laughs> yes yes and the buku tribe wins immunity this is not good uh yeah that's the regina george tribe and the walter white tribe 
Okay. Uh, a new alliance for us between Forky and Francesca. Forky just killing at the social game as He's, always. Everyone loves him. Like, why would you hate Forky? Exactly. Uh, and then over here, <gasps> Wyla leaves the alliance. She decides that she's done being the third wheel. Yeah, I can see that. So now Heather and Izuku are by themselves in the alliance. Let's see if they can, uh, you know, still navigate. Heisenberg has a major meltdown. No. Why? Uh, uh, oh, Brian, Francesca, Marissa, and Rafe dissolve their alliance. All right, so it looks like something might happen between Brian and Marisa. Um, yeah. Um, this is yeah. going to be an interesting turn of events. I think Regina and Sonia have found that crack and they've split it wide open. I think it's not any, I saw either of them. I think it's either Brian, Marisa, or Ultra Whites. I think it might be Marisa. Yeah. Uh, okay. First vote goes to Brian. Okay. Second vote goes to Marisa. Third vote goes to Brian. Fourth vote goes to Marisa. One vote left. Is it? Marisa is voted out. In a three to two vote. Who it was last? Who yeah. who stuck with her? Who at the better ends? Uh, Sonia. Okay, so so Regina, Regina has joined Heisenberg and Brian. <laughs> All right, she she knows the villains. Yeah, so yeah, she's creating know. a villains alliance. And then who comes in? Johnny Fairplay. Johnny Fairplay. Look at this villainous tribe plus Sonia. Yeah, it's like Sonia would be an easy vote off, or if uh, Regina wants to, you know, stay. Uh, my uh, my team strong. He, they can easily take out either Brian or Walter. Though I think Regina wants to work with Walter, so maybe Brian. Yeah, yeah. You imagine that she'd want to take him pretty far into the game. I don't know if she wants to sit with him at the end again, but at least you want to. She she wants to see him make him him so, Yeah, mid merge at least. So yeah, that's that. Um, Brenda still has the idol. Uh, not a lot of idol shenanigans going on. Well, I mean, because two of them have been found on both tribes. Yeah. Uh, the green people need to wake up. I uh. know, right? There's Heather and Izuku. Uh, Johnny has the idol nullifier. There are no alliances. Hope you're here on the Tiva tribe. Wolfie Hail. And the Buku tribe wins reward. They win three hens and a rooster. Oh my god, and Ty has it. Yep, yep, we're getting a new Mark the Chicken. Uh -huh. And the Tiva tribe wins reward, they win a dozen eggs. Nice. Now, will that give them the strength the to win immunity? Buku tribe wins immunity, they are safe. Come on, let it... And okay. the Tiva tribe wins immunity. Alright, cool, cool. Nice, nice. I'm a little inter... Because Davy. Then again, Twyla leaving, but she has an idol. Twyla has options. That's the thing to be uh, looking at right exactly. now. Uh, oh, Forky and Ty have a major fight about the chickens. Forky, oh, Forky yeah. wants to use his fork on the chickens, and Ty is not letting him. No, I think what happened is Forky thinks that Ty is Guy because their names sound so familiar. And so he's like, Guy? No, it's Ty. Guy? Ty. Guy? Ty! <laughs> Where's Guy? He's not on this season. Guy? Uh, gosh, we're really making it that if we ever do a duos with our brand Steel, Porky and Guy have to come back as a duo. <laughs> of course, of course. Uh, I was going to idol. Heather is impressing the rest of the team. But a target. Twice as much. Okay. And Heather leaves the alliance. <laughs> Impressing is not the right word. Maybe baffling us? 
Oh, and look at this. Izuku is on loyalty of Ace. He was ready to like put a ring on us. And yeah. Heather was just not all for that. Izuku no. was all Izuku was, you know, just coming in too strong. He was, you know, he this on again, off again relationship is tearing at the heartstrings of everyone watching. <laughs> I don't know. So Johnny has the Nile and will fire. And a new alliance forms between Brian, Johnny Fairplay, Sonia Christopher, and Walter White. <laughs> so no Regina George. <laughs> There's another alliance. Uh, uh, of oh. Brian and Sonia. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. Oh no. Oh uh, no. Oh uh -oh. no. Uh oh indeed. That's that's act that's like the worst thing Regina could want is for the other four people to to bond and not her. Um okay, so who who do you think is going home here? It might be Izuku. You think you think it's Deku? Yeah. Yeah. It's you know, left and Heather left. But at the same time, like I think it might but Davy's still the easy vote. Like, they should stick together and get out Davy. They should, but I don't think it's that simple. Uh, There's a lot of shit going on in the Jabini tribe. Yeah, this is kind of a chaos tribe right now. Um, Very much so. Okay, let's, let's see what happens here. Twyla plays the idol on Karishma. I wow. spoke too he soon was, about idol shenanigans. He wasn't even a part of this equation. Okay, well, let's see if that works. First vote. Goes to Karishma. Does not count. Second vote. Goes to Karishma. Does not count. Where was she in this equation? Uh her vote goes to Koreshma. It does not count. She played it correctly. So for why? Why was Karishma in this vote? <laughs> like, what the hell? What did she do? I'm nervous now. Oh, oh why do Deku. I why do I have to be right? Deku gets idled out, though. That is not what I wanted to see. Ah, yucks. Uh, look at this. Heather voted with Karishma. Even though... I mean, though. I mean with Deku to vote for Karishma. So she's... Even though they broke up, she didn't want him to go home yet. Yes. Man, uh -huh. so Davy was in there too, so... Karishma and Twilo were so, for some reason on the outs here. Um, I guess... Now... They still... Yeah, now it's like a... Even 2-2 two, two split. But, like, are Heather and Davey really close? I don't think so. I actually think now Krishma and Twyla have more power because they can work with either Heather or Davey. They're probably going to be fighting for that, that power now. True. It's very possible. Yeah. They just better hope they don't go to tribal to find out. Yeah, this is, I believe, the last tribal before the merge. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, everything is the same over here. No idol here. Johnny has the idol. No one is finding this idol, though. This is like their last episode to find it, too. I know. Uh, okay, reward challenge. Jabeni tribe wins reward. They win cooking utensils, herbs, spices, and kebabs. All right, get that protein. And the Vuku tribe wins reward. They win kebabs. Protein is key. The Tiba right. tribe wins immunity. I saw. As well as the Jabeni tribe. All right. So, Orange Team, it's their turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Brenda has the idol. Did she find the second idol? Yeah, she did. She has two idols now. Well, fuck. Oh, Brenda. <laughs> Is on a roll. <laughs> well, damn, that's what what a time to find it too. You know. Yeah, 
make sure you know play as well play it make sure you make the merge it's not you like you still have your other idol like it's not like you or you lot your out of an idol <laughs> exactly and brenda and ty have a small fight don't let ty go it has a lasting impact hopefully not that lasting there's no idol here. No events occur on Germany Tribe. They are just gonna this is their, go to sleep. Yeah. This is the green team's last time to. They. I don't think they found it. No. Brian and Regina bond slightly though. Is that enough to make an alliance? Johnny and Regina have a small fight. Okay, I think Johnny's getting a little jelly. And Heisenberg leaves another alliance. <laughs> Is Heisenberg the new Sari? I think so. He's just entering alliances to leave them. I mean, they're going into the merge very, very fractured. Yeah. Uh, I think there's a lot of fractures going on right now in this. <laughs> like, it seems like no one can trust anyone. Like, there's no... No one is loyal to anyone right now. No. No. I don't think this is looking too good for Ty, all yeah. things considered. Yeah, uh, I can definitely see Brenda using one of these idols right now in the idling canals. I mean, he, yeah, but does she even need it? The only like real alliance that's on this tribe right now is Porky and Francesca. True, true. We'll see, we'll see. Um, okay, Brenda has the idol. And she has that one as well. Brenda uses the Goliath tribe hidden immunity idol. Okay. She will be safe. How many First votes vote goes get? to Brenda, does not count. Second vote goes to Brenda, does not count. Third oh. vote goes to Francesca. No. Francesca is voted out right before the flipping merge. Grogu, give me strength. Why? Why? Francesca always unleashes when she hits the merge. Like, that's, that's like, where she well, shines. Like, she plays the premier so quiet, and then when the merge hits, she always kicks it into gear. But no, she just has to go right before the freaking merge. <laughs> I think that's probably why. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Damn, that's that's unfortunate. So, uh, Forky sticking with her though. I uh, didn't want to flip on her only, uh, his only friend out there. Of course, it's a loyal fork. Yeah. Okay, here we got it. We got the merge. Here, here are the people who made it. All right, so let's do a little tally. We got. Oh, so I have seven people from my side. Yeah, seven people, and you have six. Yeah, I, so ever since we got flip. back on here, I have lost people. I You, you haven't lost anyone since we, we hopped back on. No, no. Uh, I, maybe that phone call was just like bad luck. Yeah, it seems like it. Or maybe whenever there's a phone call in our um, brand steals, whatever, uh, the luck starts to turn to me. I mean, last time there was a phone call in a brand steal, I won, so it could be that. It could yeah. be that. So far, it's not turning out that way, but, I'm, you know, anything can happen at the merge. There's been that, that the, the swap does make people not necessarily want to do a pagonging. You know, there's a lot of mix-ups now going on. So, oh, yeah. so let's, uh, let's see here. Uh, the secret advantage is currently hidden. Um... I guess no one's finding anything. That's a pretty strong alliance. Yeah, Davey with uh, Davy and Ty. They're willing to go pretty deep in the game together. Oh, hell yeah. Um, Brian's got some social games going on. Mostly with Sonia. Brian and Sonia are a uh, power duo. <laughs> okay, okay. Sonia wins immunity <laughs> over Forky and... <laughs> <laughs> and Johnny Fairplay, wow. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. 
And she and she finds the vote seal. Okay, okay, Sonia came to play. Yeah, she's kicking it into gear. She's like, I made the merge. I'm not going to just sit here silently and wait for me to get voted off. I'm going to make something happen. If Sonia wins this thing, what the actual, what did we do? <laughs> what timeline have we created? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay. Friend has the idol. Johnny has the idol nullifier. So there's another idol, right? So Brenda could potentially yeah. have three. Oh, no, oh no, she already played an idol. Never mind. Yeah. She can only have two. Uh, so Regina and Twyla bond strongly. Okay. Uh, and Rafe and Twyla dissolve their alliance. Wait, are they going to turn on Rafe? Oh, no. Please don't let Rafe be the that. Yeah. I don't uh, so we know that. it's not Sonia. I don't think Brenda is going anywhere. Right. Um, so we'll if I was in this game, I would be going after Johnny or Forky because I know they're big threats. Um, yeah, and Regina. Regina only won one. That's true. She's the biggest social threat. However, if they're looking immediately at immunity, we yeah. have Johnny Fairplay. Like, yeah, to take out some of these big threats early on so you're the only one, so you can just do what Johnny Fairplay did and win six immunities. <laughs> exactly. They'd be fools not to take out Johnny. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is... I, I don't know. I, I This is a shot in the dark. Um, I'm going to say Walter White just because I could see him being the easy merge votes. He's he left alliances. A lot of people could just say, hey... Let's just get him out so that we can all enjoy being at the merge a little longer. We got too many strong players for an easy vote to just happen right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's right. uh, see. Johnny has the idol nullifier. Brenda has an idol. Sony has the vote seal power. And she's got the immunity necklace. All right, what happens? No one stands. No one stands. So first vote goes to Karishma. Second vote goes to Forky. Third vote goes to Forky. Fourth vote goes to Karishma. Fifth vote goes to Forky. Sixth vote goes to Forky. I knew, I knew Seventh it. Seventh vote goes no. to Forky. Oh, come on. Away. Eighth vote goes to Karishma. Ninth vote goes to Karishma. Tenth vote goes to Karishma. Three left. Eleventh vote goes to Forky. Twelfth vote goes oh, to Karishma. God. One vote left. Karishma is voted out at the merge. All right. Um, wow. I'm curious to see where the tribal lines are. Yeah. Um, um, let me go down and see from here in vote summary. Um, so the people who voted for Karishma were Brenda, Brian, Forky, Heather, Johnny, Sonia, and Heisenberg. And the people who voted for Forky were Davey, Karishma, Rafe, Regina, Ty, and Twyla. Looks like Regina, this is another vote where she was not in the loop. She was yeah. not in the majority. She is losing her power. Yeah, she's not, uh, you know, she's now dealing with a bunch of all-stars, you know. With Fantasy Island, you can make a case, you know, everyone was their first time. And oh. she was able to run the deal on the table with them, but now it's not that case. <laughs> we got Heather and Johnny, two really big uh, names. Brenda, we have a lot of threats right now um, in that uh, majority alliance. Yeah, and Brian, uh, <laughs> Sonia, I, like these are all people who are playing pretty big games right now. And I'll accept, no, Twyla used her advantage. And the Minority Alliance does not have any advantages. It's yeah. all it's all the people that voted for Karishma that have the advantage. Yeah. Now, the question is, can we see Regina's magic? Because she has, in the past, uh, you know, seemed like she might be in the minority, and then she flips it somehow and suddenly is back in power. It's possible. Okay. Uh, so here we are, episode nine. Uh, Brenda's got bio. 
Oh, so it's the same over here, man. Look at this. Oh, yeah. That is that's strong. Like I, I, to be honest, like you you want to take them out before they make it too far because that's a very tough duo. They're in the minority alliance, so they could be. They could yeah, be. True. Um, okay. Group number one consists of six castaways: Brian, Davy, Regina, Sonia, Ty, and Walter. Okay. Um, and group number two consists of Brenda, Forky, Heather, Johnny, Rafe, and Twyla. All right. And, and group okay. number one wins. They win a dozen pizzas to be enjoyed at camp. Man. This could be Regina's just, chance. You know, she gets get to talk to some of those people in the majority, uh, try to break in. It, it's possible. I mean, like, out of the people that are there, it's really just – her, Davy, and Ty, and the three people from uh, that big majority. Yeah. So, you know, they they do have some leeway, or maybe Wraith and Twyla with the other contestants might be able to pull some magic. True. Yeah, I think there's some ways for this to, to work out in their favor. Uh, oh, Brian Heideck wins immunity. Okay. Doing pretty good over there. Um. So the idol is the merge idol is still hidden. No one is finding it. Uh, Heather and Ty have a major fight. Probably the chickens are still around and Heather is just wanting it. <laughs> and Forky and Regina have a small fight that has a lasting impact. Stop making Guy a thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but well, Regina is impressing the rest of the team. Okay. Um <laughs> Putting in some extra elbow grease at camp. Uh, you know, she's putting her pride to the side for just a, a vote or two, trying to get some goodwill after fighting with Forky. Probably. It's not looking too well. Yeah. Uh, I still think... I think it's either Ty or Regina. Mm-hmm. If I had to say between those two, I'd say Ty. Uh, but I also, I kind of think that there might be a, a switch here. I don't, I don't know if that vote is as cut and dry as we might make it out to be. I mean, all will be revealed. And I don't know. It depends on, like, if they're going to turn on each other, the majority alliance. I don't, yeah. there hasn't been really anything to indicate that they would. Uh -huh. that's, that's the only thing. I, I mean, with Walter White just leading every alliance, it, it, you know, at some point it's got to come back to bite him, right? That is a very valid point. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's see who is going home here. Uh, Sonia uses the vote steal power on Regina. Oh no. Uh, okay. Well, oh, no. I just want to say. Even though Regina's in the minority here, if they're not taking Regina out right here, um, like Regina's going to come back with full theory. Yeah. So I wonder what's happening here. Uh, so Sonia gets one extra vote. Oh no. First vote goes to Rafe, second vote goes to Heisenberg. Third vote goes to Heisenberg. Fourth vote goes to Heisenberg. Did Sonia really just waste her steal a vote? Fifth vote goes to Rafe. Okay, we still have more to go. I talked a little <laughs> prematurely. Sixth vote goes to Heisenberg. Seventh vote goes to Rafe. Eighth vote goes to Heisenberg. Ninth vote goes to Rafe. Tenth vote goes to Rafe. We are tied in a five to five with two votes left. Eleventh vote goes to Heisenberg. And it's Heisenberg. And Heisenberg goes home. Now the yeah. question is, did Sonia use her vote steal power steal. correctly? Okay. Because if she did, then that would have saved it from being a tie. Uh She did. Okay. So it was used actually in a way that changed the outcome of the votes. 
So if Regina was actually, well, I mean, we do see Davy and Twyla. If Forky was voting for Rafe as well, Forky was in the majority alliance. Uh, interesting. Yeah, and Eisenberg was too. He, he you know, this, this was that kind of, in a surprising, like, we thought it was going to be a safe vote. They actually had to use an advantage to get Heisenberg out of there. <laughs> or safely, at least. Yeah. Regina is just like... She is... T- I, honestly, though, she, yeah, this could be very bad. The fact that she's still in the game. I mean, we're one more mm-hmm. away from the halfway mark. Um mm-hmm. We still have a lot of heavy hitters. Um, we'll get more into that after, you know, when we do hit 10. But, like, it's very, very interesting uh, who's left and who's playing a pretty solid game because we lot have a lot of goodies. We have a lot of goodies. I don't think – honestly, I don't really see any uh, weak links amongst these people. Yeah, they, they all have at least some kind of big move or big kind of, like, thing going on in their favor that's – you know, exactly. making them stand out. Exactly. Everyone's playing pretty solid. Nice. Uh, Ty finds the hidden immunity idol. All right. This is what he needs. This is what yeah. he needs. So Brenda has an idol. Johnny Fairplay has the idol nullifier. Ty has the hidden immunity idol. And there's all the alliances. Okay. So group number one consists of Brenda, Davy, Heather, Sonia, and Ty. And group number two consists of Brian, Johnny Fairplay, Rafe, Regina, and Twyla. Who got left? At Forky. Forky does not participate. No. Why? Man. How cool. But group number one wins. So Brenda, Davy, Heather, Sonia, and Ty will go to a trip on to a burger bar complete with beer and soft drinks. All right, where do we go from here? Can Brian Heideck wins another immunity? All right, he's he's flexing right now. It could be a thing with because Fair Play has not won any individuals left is he saving his strength or was it just simply a fluke the first time he played it's hard to say um because he did lose those first two immunities so it, t- it took him a bit for him to kind of get well, i mean he was also cursed on my traps <laughs> yeah true <laughs> uh so there's all that brenda and davy bond slightly yeah come on and brenda has a major vote <laughs> After bonding with Davy, she is having a moral dilemma. <laughs> Why? No. Brenda, this is not the time. Oh. And Sonia leaves the alliance with Brian Heideck. Brian and Sonia had a, a you know, power duel going on, and that's gone. Okay. Is, well, I mean, they can't target Brian. This is a bad time to do it because whoever has immunity does hold a little bit of sway in the votes. Yeah, so it can't be Brian. Uh, is Sonia going home here? I I don't think so. I don't um, think that was a good time. I think she should have, you know, if she wanted to leave, do it after this tribal. Yeah. It's a little tough to say. Um, Ty does have an idol, but Fair Play has a nullifier. Um, though, does Johnny suspect that Ty even has one yeah. is another whole thing. Yeah. I'd say it's a little too tricky to say who it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, definitely tough here. Yeah, the, yeah, that's the tough thing about the Iowa Noel Flyer. Not only do you have to know that Iowa is being played, you gotta know who you know, they're playing it on and all that kind of stuff. Like, there's, there's a lot of kind of intricacies to yeah. using the idol nullifier. Um, so we'll see here. Uh, I I kind of think it's still going to be Sonia. I think I, I think that, you know, you, you don't leave your alliance. You don't leave your alliance when they have immunity. If they're only yeah. one other person. <laughs> that might be the slip up. Uh, yeah. We'll see. Okay. Brenda uses her idol. Any of those cast against Brenda will not count. Uh, 
she uh, did she yeah she she played her idol correctly right uh, in the pre merge for other ones yeah she did yeah, yeah. she did yeah so uh, so let's see if she can get two idol plays correctly first vote goes to Brenda does not count all right second vote goes to Brenda does not count third vote goes to Brenda does not count. Fourth vote goes to Brenda, does not count. Fifth vote goes to Brenda, does not count. She got it Sixth right. Sixth vote goes to Brenda, does not count. Now, let's keep going. Sonia. Ooh. It could it be? So that's one vote to Sonia. Second vote to Sonia. Forky. Third vote goes to Forky. I don't want to be Forky. It should not be Forky. Okay. No, so it's Sonia. Sonia goes. Home. Someone was just a little out of the loop. Yeah, uh, Brenda was a little out of the loop. <laughs> the one who plays the idol. <laughs> That's probably why she played the idol. Yeah, no one she didn't know what was going on. She's like, I'll just play it. Make sure I get one more vote. Uh, okay. So let's see how this all shaked up. Uh, so the people who voted for Brenda were Brian, Forky, Heather, Johnny, Sonia, and Twyla. And the people who voted for Sonia were Davey, Rafe, Regina, and Ty. Gotta imagine that Regina had some hand in this, the fact that Sonia stole the vote from her. I mean, Sonia did backstab her, Regina, a little bit. Uh, so I can totally see Sonia going home as a result of it. However, it's, Brenda was out of the loop. So I don't think she, she, like, she voted for Forky. So maybe Regina was afraid that Brenda might talk, but mm -hmm. I don't know. It's Yeah, give her a fake vote. Maybe well, Also, like, it's kind of smart, actually, because what if Sony has an idol? There's no third option that it's, uh, you know, t t tell the person who's going to use the idol and get votes to vote someone else. So that way you have another contingency plan. Yeah, that, that, that's I mean, been Regina's game is contingency plans. If plan A doesn't work, plan B is there. there and there's always a thing. Um, people who find one advantage are likely to find another. Exactly. Um, so, yeah. So, All right. Because Brenda's, Absolutely. I mean, that's two idols that she's found, you know. She can easily find another if she tries. All right. So, we have six from my tribe and mm. four from yours. Yes. We yes. also have four gals and six guys. I think Porky identifies as a male. I consider, um, yeah. You know, I mean, if you look at Toy Story 4 the end credit, there's the his, they make a love interest for him. Yeah, so, exactly. Um, um, he's also voiced by a, a guy, so uh, that's, <laughs> that would help. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, okay. Everyone, everyone's playing a pretty solid game. Like, mm -hmm. It's a little quiet right now. Heather is a little quiet. Um, Regina is kind of playing an uphill battle. Davey mm -hmm. and Ty have like this really good, uh, you know, alliance going on. It's low key. Brian is winning immunities. Johnny is seeming to be at the very least on the right side of the votes each time. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone's doing pretty well. Forky uh, escapes and, you know, keeps escaping, uh, getting voted out. Um, yeah. Yeah, Twyla is still in this. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know there's a lot of big players so far still. Um, uh, Ty has the Kitty Mimi idol uh, with a very good alliance. He actually went down a little bit. He wasn't a nine. Yeah, it was it's eight, nine. The yeah, difference it's not, it's not too much, but uh, yeah. I, noticeable. Um, Brenda, Davey, Heather, and Johnny, and Rafe are group number one. And group number two is Brian, Forky, Regina, Ty, and Twyla. Who wins? And Brenda, Davey, Heather, Johnny, and Rafe win. They win a survivor picnic with wraps and wine. Letters from home. Oh, Heather gets a love note from Deku. She throws it in the fire. <laughs> She's like, I'm done with that. Never going to see yeah. him again. <laughs> you know, who would want to date someone who doesn't make it to the merge? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Brenda wins immunity. Okay. Brenda's playing a pretty solid game. Oh, hell yeah. 
definitely playing her her heart out. Um, Rafe is also impressing the rest of the team. Nice. Twyla has a major meltdown, though. Maybe because she hasn't hit that immunity streak yet. Yeah, yeah, she's uh, like, uh, why I can't keep going to the tribal uh, and getting votes off. Uh, but Forky and Twyla find something in common, so Forky probably tries to, you know, console her a little bit, calm her down. <laughs> or maybe the thing they find in common, Forky's like, you're just like me. Trash! <laughs> and Twyla... <laughs> Twyla just... It's not what she wants to hear, but she's just so endearing that she's like, thank you, Forky. <laughs> uh, or or may maybe Twyla uh, somehow has had uh, past relationships and, uh, you know, has, has knows Guy, actually, and is, is telling him more about uh, her experiences with Guy and they're bonding over how, how great of a guy Guy is. Exactly. I see that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we are, final 10. <sighs> Regina hits your mark where you're happy that she at least made it to this point. If she made it to the halfway, um, I would like her to get in the single digits, but mm -hmm. if she goes out now, I understand. I mean, it, a little, another like in depth assess assessment right now. Um, because we still had a little bit to go off of, not too much. Johnny has really not been a big target. Heather hasn't really done too much to ruffle or rustle any feathers. Mm -hmm. Twyla, maybe. Orky is still a threat. Rafe is kind of flying under the radar. Regina is still in that, like, minority thing. It's, like, mm -hmm. it's tough. Um, yeah. Maybe because this is, like, a time where Brian hasn't won immunity, it might be time to get rid of him. Yeah, I can see that, too. Um... Yeah, uh, Regina is having to do something that she's not used to and playing from the bottom completely. Exactly. Uh, so, I mean, can she do it? She's she's that she she technically did help with the Sonia booth, but she was in the minority of that as well. But yeah, uh, yeah. you know, uh, sometimes you know, even if you're in the minority, it doesn't matter as long as you're getting your targets out. Exactly. We'll see. Johnny has the idol nullifier. Ty has the idol. Brenda has the immunity necklace. Okay. Ty uses the Kalu Kalo tribe hidden immunity idol. He will be okay. safe. We'll make single digits. And the first vote goes to Ty. It does not count. Second vote goes to Ty. It does not count. Third vote goes to Ty, does not count. Fourth vote goes to Ty, does not count. Played Fifth right. vote goes to Ty, does not count. He has played it correctly. Sixth vote goes to Ty. All right, I'm grabbing the does stuff. Does not can... count. All right. Uh, another vote goes to Ty, does not count. Oh, oh, first oh, vote goes oh, to Johnny oh, Fair Play. Oh, oh. I Johnny so... Fair Play is idled out by Ty. Oh. That's a big one. That's Ooh. that's a big one. Um Okay. So the people who voted for Johnny were Davy, Rafe, and Ty. Uh, Regina kind of flipped switch, uh, I think, because she kind of knew Ty trying to get her way back into the majority. Mm -hmm. This is not good for her. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's tough there. Uh, Davy and Ty sticking together. They're still in it. Of course. Another great contender for uh, duos. Exactly. The, the more we keep doing this, the more duos pop up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's that. Uh, well, here we are, final nine. Yeah, it's um, it's, oh, and this is a uh, second part of the eleventh episode. All yeah. right. Okay. So the idol is currently hidden now. Someone can refine it. Uh, ties back up to nine. I think they just great 
Just great throws. <laughs> uh, Brian, Forky, Heather, Regina, our group number one. Okay. And group number two is Brenda, Davey, Rafe, and Ty. Who got Which left at Twyla. Oh. And group number two wins. They win an afternoon cruise and a feast. All right. Nice. Okay, so those were the three people who made – that last move happened, plus Brenda, who's had some big move itis. Yeah. Could she win immunity again? Regina yes. George wins immunity. All right, sweet, sweet. Regina's like, okay, she's, her social game has suffered a lot, and she's like, okay, now I have to win these challenges. That's the only way yeah. she can see herself getting further is by winning challenges right exactly. now. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, uh, Heather is impressing the rest of the team. Regina and Twyla bond strongly. Okay. Feeling like outsiders, maybe? Mm -hmm. uh, Brenda and Forky bond strongly. Of course. And then there's that. So. All right. Um, I could see Brian still going here just because, you know, another, yet again, he won those two back-to-back -back immunities that's still kind of fresh in everyone's minds. I can see that. I can also see, since Heather has been kind of quiet-ish, even though she's, like, impressing, impressing the team, Heather and Regina haven't really gone after each other. And I feel like yeah. this could be a time where Regina does it. Or because she might need to... Um, play goody goody with Davy and Ty because they kind of she kind of blindsided them a little bit or yeah. flipped so it's hard to say it's hard to say um yeah 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 I can, I'm, I'm surprised Regina and Heather haven't duped it out yet it is kind of you know that was a huge storyline of Fantasy Island was the second huh. that they could vote each other out they went for each other you said Heather do that's one of the Heathers from Heather Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Little references for yes. people at home. <laughs> yeah, that's, right. uh, that's a good one. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, I could I could see I could see Heather or Brian kind of going here. I can, yeah, I can see that a little bit. Oh, we don't have any. Uh... There's no other advantages. Regina's got the meaning necklace. That's the only advantage in the game right now. Yeah, because Fair Play got uh, his oh, he 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 did, a. Yeah, nullifier. he got voted out with the idle nullifier. It played it on tie. That Ooh. didn't really hit me until now. Ooh. That makes that move even better. Oh, damn. Johnny Fair Play didn't even see it coming. Ty is. We didn't see it coming. <laughs> yeah. We didn't see it after it even happened. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Ty's coming back for All Stars too. Like legit. Yeah, damn, that is crazy. Taking out one of the best returning players with the when he Johnny Fairplay could have stopped us. Yeah, that's. Damn. Maybe it was his ego. Yeah. Uh, okay. First vote goes to Brian. Second vote goes to Brenda. Third vote goes to Brenda. Fourth vote goes to Brian. Fifth vote goes to Brenda. Sixth vote goes to Brian. Seventh vote goes to Brenda. Eighth vote goes to Brian. One vote left. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, and it's Brian Heideck. Ender uh, is sticking around a little longer. <laughs> noise, noise. Okay, let's see here. Um, so Brenda, Davy, Forky, Rafe, and Ty voted for Brian, and Brian, Heather, Regina, and Twyla voted for Brenda. Wow, Regina is just she can't <laughs> find she can't just win here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's not really going Regina's way. Yikes. Yeah. All right, final. But, hey, you know, all it needs is a good end game for Regina. You know, she's been on the bottom. Like, it's a, it can be a great comeback story if she makes it to the ends. Exactly. Uh, she's known to come back with a vengeance. So. Exactly. Uh, there's an idol hidden. She can always find an idol. 
Okay, pair number one consists of Rafe and Ty. All right. Pair number two is Brenda and Twyla. Pair number three is Davey and Heather. Pair number four is Forky and Regina. Come on, pair four. Oh, no. Nope. Rafe and Ty win rewards. I can do and they share it with Heather and Davey. Well, of course, Ty and Davey, you know. Yeah, exactly. Rafe probably didn't have much say in it. Ty was just like, you got to take Davey. Yeah. And this is the loved ones uh, oh. as well. And there it is. A 14 wins immunity. Good job, bro. He gets Good his job. immunity win, showing that, hey, uh, those forks can also compete with survivor players. He's a spork. <laughs> and look at this. Ty finds another hidden immunity idol. Okay, this is a very interesting development. He's playing, Ty is playing probably the best game out there. Um, so I think it's his game to lose at this point. I mean, Brenda is like up there too, but I feel like Ty, especially with his bond with Davey, it's just like yeah. everything is pointing Ty. Yeah, the only problem really uh, is that there's now a big target on his back. Like he has played a very... Like, everyone knows good. Ty is playing a good game, which is True. not a good spot midway through the merge. <laughs> it's tricky. Yeah. But I feel like Ty, <laughs> he might be able to pull it off. Yeah, exactly. Um, so Ty has got the idol. Davey and Forky bond slightly. Of course. Brenda and Davey have a small fight. They fight over Forky. Yeah. <laughs> uh... And a new alliance forms between Brenda and Twyla. All right. I feel this could... It's a little tricky, because if Brenda, Twyla, Regina stick together, um, Davey, Forky, Ty are kind of together. Rafe is kind of with um, Davey and Ty. Mm -hmm. Heather... I feel Heather's a little bit of a wild card in the scenario. He's playing both sides. Title, which means... That complicates things by a lot. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you think Ty's going to use his idol here? Or do you think he's going to try to save us? <sighs> he He's known for spending it when he gets it. Um, mm -hmm. He might play it because, you know, if it's a 4-4 split, it might guarantee, you know, further level, um, further advancement, especially since, like, yeah, at this point, I feel like he might. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, uh, I, yeah, I could definitely see him playing playing it. Um, he's found idols before. He'll find another idol if he has to. Exactly. Um, or he has the immunity necklace. No one stands, so Ty does not play it. He will keep it. First vote goes to Davey. No. Second vote goes to Ty. <laughs> Don't split it between them. The third one goes to Davy. Fourth vote goes to Brenda. Fifth vote goes to Brenda. Sixth vote goes to Davy. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> Seventh vote goes to Brenda. We're tied three, three, one with one vote left. I don't want left. either to go. Brenda, your time is up. <laughs> she played a hell of a game, though. A she hell did. of a game. She did. That was she. She. She definitely. I think this is her best game she's played by far. Oh yeah, hands down. Yeah. Um. Damn. So. All right. Davy, oh. Forky, Regina, and Ty voted for Brenda. So Regina, in the majority there. All right. Ty actually is the vote all out there, voting there for Heather. No, wait, Heather, 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 wait, Heather didn't even get a vote. No, Heather voted for Ty. Oh, oh, that's right. Got it. <laughs> My brain did it, dummy. No, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel like this could say a lot about things moving forward. Um, yeah. Very interesting. I mean, Ty still has that idol. Um, yeah, Ty's got the idol. He's with Davy. They were in the majority here. Things are looking up for Ty. Very much so. Uh -huh. All right. 
the last one before the finale. Yeah, yeah. So only one of these people will not make it to the finale with uh, the rest of them. It's going to sing for any of them. They've all played so hard. Exactly. Uh, so there's Davy and Ty. Ty wins reward and shares it with Davy and Twyla. Trying to win Twyla's favor. I get it. Exactly. Come uh, on, Regina. You got this, Regina. Ty wins immunity. <laughs> he is making his way to final five, guaranteed. Yeah. Damn. Or, like, guaranteed final five at this point. Yeah. Assuming that he plays his idol next tribal. Yeah. Uh, <gasps> Davy and Ty have a major fight. <laughs> That's not good. That is the worst thing that could happen to Ty's game right now. Don't let them break up. Don't let them break. Okay. Okay, they're not broken up yet. But they are not look, seeing eye to eye. I don't know. I, uh, well, I, I don't think it's Ty, clearly, because of his immunity. Is it... I don't know. That major fight, that was the only event that happened. Yeah, it makes you think it's Davy, right? It makes me think it. I don't think it is, though. Who else would... I mean, off of the info, it who could, else would it be? Heather seems like an easy vote. Yeah. Could be she, for... She could be Regina. Move. I can see... I can see an argument for any of them. Uh, I don't think Twyla, because Twyla befriended both. Um, yeah. On the reward. I'm saying it's either Forky or Regina. Okay. I'm I'm still gonna say Davy just because I, I I I would think that there would be some events that would you know show either Regina or Forky. Uh okay. Ty's so got the idol and the immunity necklace. No one stands so he does not play his idol. I'm nervous. First vote goes to Forky. Oh god. Second vote goes to Rafe. Third vote goes to Rafe. Fourth vote goes to Forky. Fifth vote goes to Rafe. Sixth vote goes to Forky. We have one vote left. It's either Rafe or Forky. Don't, don't, don't. No! Oh, and it's no! Ah! Oh. Damn. <laughs> Forky, no! Making another deep run, but going out to the likes of Heather, Rafe, Regina, and Twyla. So Davy, Forky, and Ty were on the outs there. Suddenly, from being in the majority to being in the min minority. I think it's because they recognize that you know, Davy and Ty are too good of a combo. Yeah, but it's surprising that they didn't target Davy. Yeah. A little. A little. So, I think because they were worried about an idol, and they wouldn't expect Forky, because you can't really so, split votes at this point. True, true. Because um, now they're going into final six, Davy and Ty are still there, so you know, they just need to get one more person, maybe a Twyla, to really, you know, say, hey, let's uh, team up. Uh, or potentially like a Regina. I feel like Regina would still go in with them. I think she just wants to get to the end at this point. I don't know. I don't feel Davy and Ty are the best people to go up against. Mm -hmm. I feel like Regina, with who she's aligned with, is her best bet to win against. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I can see Ty and Davy being pretty uh, fearsome there. But at the same time, you know, everyone loves an underdog. Regina's got the underdog edits this season. She does. She very much does this time. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is our final six, our finale peeps. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I gotta say I, I I think Regina's gotta make some big moves coming up here. I think I think she needs to do what Natalie Anderson did in San Juan del Sur and really ball out in the last couple of tribals. She, yeah, it's the thing where Ty is guaranteed at least one if he plays his idol right. Mm -hmm. Uh it. <sighs> There is win conditions for her. Um, 
Heather has been playing a pretty low key game. Ooh. Rafe has also been playing low key. Yeah, Twilight. I think Rafe's the biggest sleeper threat here. I think he's I think because he's he's been in with like everyone. Like no one seems to really dislike him out there right now. I, even though he started fights at the beginning of the season, he's kind of like mellowed like, out. Yeah, yeah, he's not doing that anymore. Um, and uh, I feel yeah. And I feel Twilight, you know, she also has a little bit of an underdoggy thing going on, mm -hmm. but, you know, she's made some moves. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's just like Ty and Davey, their alliance is just so strong that it's hard for anyone to kind of, like, break yeah. into that. Yeah, I can't say Twilight definitely has a vote in Krishma because she played an idol pre-merge on Krishma to get her to the merge, giving her a jury spot. So yeah, Twilight definitely has some some curry there, uh, some favor. Um, but I can also just imagine because what made Regina so big in Fantasy Island was her making these big bombastic moves. I think yeah. I think if she wants to get a win, I think she has to do some of that. Because so exactly. far, it's been much more like maybe she's trying for something, but it's just not working out. Probably. Or we always knew that Regina was going to have a hard time with this one mm -hmm. in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, it's the what? way she was going to do. Oh, yeah, this dropped quite a bit. <laughs> Did, just keep it together for a it's couple the more. the only alliance in the game. <laughs> so keep it together for a couple more. There it is. Twyla wins her first immunity. Oh, nice. And she shares the reward with Regina and Davy. So it's, I will not be there with Davy. Introduce Davy to the dark side. Yeah. Uh, they win a spaghetti meal and cake back at camp. Okay. So what happens at camp? This is going to be... Regina and Twyla bond slightly. Well, I mean, if anyone gives me cake, we're yeah. going to bond more than just slightly. You know exactly. what I'm saying? And that's all we have to go on. Yeah, like They bonded after the spaghetti and cake. All right. Uh, I feel Ty is going to play his idol here. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's I don't want to say Regina, but I think logically she might be. But then again, Twyla... Mm -hmm. Regina, Davey, if they become a voting bot. I mean, Ty is, they haven't broken up, Ty and Davey. They're a little, there's a little, like, wound there, but it's yeah. not, like, a fracture. Yeah, there is, honestly, being at a seven loyalty is still pretty good. <laughs> like, you know. Uh, I'd say Heather and Rafe are too safe to just say, they're too safe of a vote at this point. I feel like at this point, if it's it's going to be Heather, Rafe, and one of those other four. Mm -hmm. They just seem like very, very safe people to bring to the end. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely see that. Um, yeah, so let's let's uh, get into it then. Uh, Ty uses his idol. So it can't be Twilight, it can't be Ty, so who's... Yeah, so we got either Davy, Heather, Rafe, or Regina. Okay. First votes goes to Ty, does not count. Second vote goes to Ty, does not count. Third vote goes to Ty, does not count. He played it correctly. Grabbing all the stuff. Fourth vote goes to Heather. Heather is voted out at final six. Good honor, good honor, but dang. Damn. Yeah, she makes it to the finale at least, but. Who voted with? So Regina, Ty, and Twyla voted for Heather, whereas Davy, Heather, and Ray voted for Ty. Davy voted against Ty. Oh no, this is. No. This... This, is, yeah. this could be a huge, you know, in-game uh, strategy if you think about it, because uh, maybe Davey puts the vote on Ty to make it look like Ty got the idol play correctly uh, by by making it like that. But, you know, it can always look like that. Again, why would you not save it until Final Five? Like, you know. Yeah, true. It, it's not necessarily like, yeah, it's a, it could fabricate a move, which could be a solid thing. That could be a solid actual plan. 
Um, it's just, I don't think now is the time to like waste an idol. Like granted, yeah. Ty is great at finding idols. Yeah, yeah. He's cool. probably going to find this final five idol. <laughs> it was great. Uh, okay, well. This is the last time one of them can find it and play it. Yeah, here, here's our final five. I still got to say, though, Regina George has made it to a, a final five here. Only winner here. Uh, yeah, it says a lot. Yeah. So the idol is hidden. This Are is they, now okay. a loyalty of six. It's Regina Witt. Davey, Davey wins immunity. Yeah. I'm so nervous. Who finds it? No one, I think. <laughs> I think oh, they're all trying to play socially. This is not... So, Rafe is impressing the rest of the team. He's trying to, you know, curry some favor to get him to the end. I don't think he'll have a problem. Mm -hmm. Regina and Ty, what's... They have a major fight. Are we going to get the showdown between Regina and Ty? I feel like this is the time to do it. Mm -hmm. A new alliance forms between Rafe and Regina. It is Could this going be down. Regina's big, uh, you know, come from behind victory? She's going to make the world burn. Uh, I don't want Ty to go to, he's played too good at the game. Yeah. Uh, we know it's not Davey uh, and Rafe and Regina. So now the question is, is Davey and Ty going to still vote together? Because they didn't, we on the same page last time. Uh, I don't but know. they're still in the lines. Like it hasn't dissolved. No, it hasn't. So I kind of think Twyla is the swing vote here, actually. I agree. So it's all up to her. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Davies got the uh, immunity necklace. No one stands. Stuffies. First vote goes to Ty. Second vote goes to Ty. Third oh. vote goes to Regina. I'm not ready. Four foot goes to Regina. It's either Ty or Regina going oh, home. Fuck. You. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's oh, Ty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yet again, playing a great game, but cannot navigate the end game. <laughs> I don't know what my framing is. Uh, you're definitely out of. I see your hands. <laughs> okay, I'm just like, I'm glad Regina's still in it, but at the same time, Ty really deserved to win this one. He really did. He was playing a very great game. <laughs> no. Damn. Uh, I mean, I know. I already know you're gonna bring him back for for the next. All I know. So he he won. He he. He's a legend because of the fair play thing now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he is a legend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's definitely fulfilled our, uh, you know, real uh, all-star status for Series 2. Like, he's oh, definitely yeah. he's definitely there now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. It's Ray, Regina, and Twyla. So, Regina oh. managing to orchestrate the move to get that – Power duo broken up finally. And Davy, Davy up till the very end. Yeah. That was now, Even though though he's kind of on the outs here, there's always fire making. If he can beat yeah. whoever, you know, gets put up against him, he can still get his way to the end and maybe win for the honor of Ty. <laughs> yeah, it's it's always um there's room to navigate on this. Mm -hmm. um, you have a one in three shot, or you have a one in four shot of going home. There, it, it's very, very. There are a lot of ways to save yourself. Nothing is guaranteed with yeah. this. You see it all the time with Final Four. It's a very, very. Uh, there's it's, a lot of ways to maneuver and navigate with this. It's very, it's very tricky. Uh, knowing exactly how that final four is going to go with fire making now. Regina, please win this. Oh, wait. Um, no, the, they just have uh, alliances here. Regina wins. Regina, Regina yes! wins immunity. She is in the final three. The queen B. <laughs> how did she do it? I don't. 
She's here to watch the world. <laughs> uh, she has been they the underdog for off. this entire freaking season. <laughs> we thought that she she didn't bring it, but hey, we didn't we we just didn't know her her master strategy of of looking like you know she isn't in charge, you know. Uh, so she's trying to play from a different route, and uh, I mean it's, it's worked out. She has to get rid of Davy. That's like the yeah. only competition she has right now. Okay, so no events occurred. Did, are you reading this? She decides to give up in the actual <laughs> city. The face of Davy is this better be a flex. This better be a flex. This better be a you, flex. I told you, she she needed a, a huge move. Like, cause that's what Regina does best, is she tries to make a huge move. In the back of my mind, I was like, would she do what Danny Boatwright did at this point? And I'm like, no, no, there's no way. I, that, I didn't want to bring it into the zeitgeist by saying anything about giving up the uh, but Jesus fucking Christ. So she's decided Davy's the biggest threat and she needs to face Davy to prove that she deserves this win. Oh God. Uh, I'm scared. I'm actually like really scared. Can I be honest? I'm like, too. I, 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 I'm afraid to scroll because I, 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 I don't want, I don't want the bad outcome. Either way, I'm going to scream. It's just you might get one of two screams. Well, obviously, but okay. Davy and Regina compete in a fire making challenge, and Davy wins. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't stop laughing. Oh my god. Oh. Holy shit. Oh. She could have won the she could have been a two-time winner. 100 percent she could have won the season if she let like Wraith go up against him. I'm so sorry, neighbors. Wow. Oh. Uh. I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't even know how to process like this final three now. Because oh. Oh, I just felt like I felt like Regina was going to win when she won immunity. I was like, okay, cool. Regina's got us. Is now a two-time winner. She's on that level of poverty. Dave, nope. you better win this. Otherwise, I'm like... This went from an amazing, spectacular season. Davey better win this. Davey better freaking win this. Davey like, I've better... never seen you just like so defeated. <laughs> like you are, you're like done. <laughs> Davey better win this. Okay, the finalists wait for the winner to be revealed. The first vote goes to Rafe. The second vote goes to Davy. The third vote goes to Twyla. Fourth vote goes to Davy. Fifth vote goes to Rafe. Sixth vote goes to Twyla. Seventh vote goes to Rafe. Eighth vote goes to Twyla. Ninth vote goes to Rafe. Tenth vote and winner is Rafe Judkins. <laughs> Uh, not only does Davey not win, he gets third place. He gets third place. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Okay, who voted for who? Brenda voted for Rafe. Brian voted for Rafe. 
Porky voted for Davey. You're Heather the voted for Porky. Rafe. Johnny voted for Twyla. Karishma voted for Rafe. Regina voted for Twyla. Sonia okay. voted for Twyla. Ty voted for Davey. Heisenberg voted for Rafe. Wow. And Sonia wins the fan favorites. GTFO. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but I've never seen you <laughs> just like you, you you look like a broken down robot that's lost its batteries now <laughs> that's about half true okay well Regina George deciding that her game wasn't flashy and big enough decides to go up against Davy and fire making. Not only does she lose it, but Davy wasn't the biggest threat out of the final people there. <laughs> the, the, the end of this video is just us fucking breaking down. <laughs> I think in hindsight this is going to be one of our best brand steals but going through it tough ass uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan has turned into the Joker. <laughs> Sometimes I laugh a lot if it's it's a lot to process. It is a lot. Is hey, it, hey, if it makes you feel any better, Regina George is considered the most strategic on the season. <sighs> followed by Davey. Followed by <laughs> Rafe. Oh. Uh, yeah, I gotta be honest. I think I think Regina George wins if she just goes to the final three. <laughs> I don't think she needed to. I don't think she needed to do it. Wow. Um, what an episode of France Steel. Um, you know we haven't done this in a while on on stream. What happens? If if we make it well, well, let's see that alternate universe. Davy, Elsa, and Johnny Fairplay would have been a final three. <laughs> I like that. Uh, and Davy would have won. <laughs> Where did Regina place? I need answers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's, who's the fan? Brenda wins the fan favorites. I don't like that, but where, where is Regina? Placements. Regina! Regina George would have been at the first. I'm destroyed. <laughs> so this is the better ending. In yeah, it's, be it's better that she at least makes it very far in the season and we get a lot of Regina George. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> I guess that does it for this episode of the Day After Podcast. Uh, <laughs> we'll catch ya. <laughs> Back in season two of series two, Ryan is going to his therapist right after this, apparently. Um, that and the bar, because they're kind of open now. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, okay. <laughs> Adios. I hope you had fun. <laughs>